I want to talk about winning. Mark and Ken were talking about how we can win. We can win these elections if we can carry two states with 38 electoral votes. Donald cannot win if we target those states correctly. Get, the, get states that Donald won that are battlegrounds, we can win. If we prevent the Democrats from carrying a state, at any, at any one state, say Virginia, or Kentucky, no, Kentucky's red, I'm sorry, uh, then the Democrats can't win either. Then we kick it into Congress. Congress votes by delegation. We can truly get on the board. I have been in every office in Congress. I'm pushing immigration reform. I want the I want the immigrants who are suffering to have an option. I want them to be able to pay voluntarily, pay for entry, voluntarily pay to stay. They pay it on their tax return, their 1040 becomes their green card. If we allow them this one thing, nobody's chasing them, nobody's telling them they have to, but if we give them that choice, I believe that many of them will. Let's apply that to the national debt. Then let's turn around and loan money. Let's remove the those programs at the Fed, uh, from the federal government that can be replaced with loans. We can replace highway loans. We can replace infrastructure. We can replace FEMA. Let the disaster, once a disaster has been declared, let those people borrow what they need from our debt. Every dollar they borrow, they will pay back, or FEMA will pay back, or their insurance. And they will reduce our debt, and that money will become available again to loan out. We can cut a lot of government out just with those just with those loans. We can also create a whole bunch of jobs. All that all that infrastructure. Somebody needs to do it. We're holding up funding now. We we just killed a trillion dollar. Uh, insure, uh, infrastructure bill last year, it fell through. But they're still building roads, they're still spending money. Make that borrowed money instead of your money. Allow everybody to go to work and then their revenue will balance our federal budget. But it will also do one other thing. Medicaid, AFDC, food stamps, earned income credit, all will decrease. They are all poverty-based. They will decrease. Those are entitlements. We have we have cut uh, we have cut discretionary spending. We also cut entitlements. Then we can save money for everybody. We reduce the debt. Once the debt is gone. Let's do away with income tax, shall we? We can get there. I, I focus on the debt because the Republicans and Democrats have failed miserably. Trillion dollar deficits budgeted for the next decade, and that's not counting Social Security. Let's talk about Social Security now. How about we don't try to abolish it, like some people say, but instead allow 20-year-olds to pay just 20% to Social Security, 80% to their own private account. 30-year-olds, 40%, 40-year-olds, 60%, 50-year-olds, 80%, us old folks, well, we're not going to get anything from that private account. We're on Social Security. But we can cover the shortfalls as we go, as we pay down the debt. We can cover the shortfalls, eliminating $37 trillion 
in debt that we are going to leave our kids. Now, I've been told many, many times, don't start throwing numbers around. And I apologize. It's, it's me. But some of those numbers are very important. Winning elections, getting, getting libertarians into office, we are the answer to gerrymandering. I'm so pleased to see the uh, district candidates here. Once we, could, we move in and take a district seat, they cannot redistrict around the Libertarian. We will hold that seat. If we can do that, I want to help. I want to challenge the local affiliates to host meet and greets, invite a presidential candidate, all of us, any of us, to those meetings, tell their friends, neighbors, the local press, a presidential candidate is coming to our town. Then get your local candidates, your district candidates to that meeting so that they can get the press time, the face time that they need to win. I have challenged many of our candidates, but I want to say one thing about our candidates. We all have our own passions. One of us is going to be a nominee. Let's not let that passion go to waste. Adam is very concerned about veterans affairs and those terrible suicides. I love his idea. Let him be number two in the Veterans Administration and fix it. Jacob Hornberg is not here today, but he was he talked passionately about Medicare last night in Philadelphia. Put him number two. I say number two because we cannot with the possible exception of Ken back here, I doubt that we can get Senate confirmation for a cabinet position. But we can put our people in number two. Joe, health care, would you? If we do this, we can get a whole lot of additional experience for our candidates and a whole lot of new contacts for our candidates in D.C. and around the country. If we do these things, we will win in the future. We're building a cadre. We're building strength from here down the road. Now, there are people who talk about repudiating the national debt and eliminating income tax. <clears throat> How many of y'all have retirement accounts? Keos, 401ks? How many of you know how much federal bonds are in those accounts? Is the answer zero? Yes, I wish it was. <laughs> I know you do. The problem with repudiating the national debt is we owe it, a chunk of it, to ourselves. We will not eliminate the national debt without wiping out every retirement account in the country. So let's not. Let's pay it down by letting those who benefit pay it for us. Not a penny of tax revenue, but savings. If they voluntarily want to pay it because it benefits them, let them knock it down. Once the national debt's gone, then let's talk about income tax. Eliminate it. Boop. It's gone. Because the money will still flow. Those loans will still come in. They will go out. They will come in. 
and they can run what's left of the government. 